the construction of the airship in Spain, given the success achieved at the Académie des Sciences in Paris in 1902 with the airship project and in 1903 with the first model of the Telequino, in January 1904, the Spanish government created the Aeronautics Test Center and placed it under the direction of Leonardo Torres Quevedo, who established the headquarters in the old Betty Jai Pediment in Madrid. Starting in March 1905, Alfredo Kinalondueni began to collaborate as technical assistant of the center. He would install a canvas cover for the pediment and begin the construction of the first Spanish airship cutting and sewing the fabrics that were to make up the 640 meters 3 envelope and preparing the interior funicular, rope, beam that was to provide self-rigidity to the balloon. Once the construction was completed, on June 26 it would be inflated in the Madrid gasometer and on July 11, the new patent would be requested. In July 1906, Kinalorn proceeded to transfer the balloon to the military aerostation service polygon in Guadalajara, and in September new inflation tests were carried out, now with hydrogen. Once the engines and propellers were received, and the nacelle was built, on September 12, the Torres Quevedo No. 1 would fly with the engines running, guided from the ground with the maneuvering ropes. But the next day, the porosity of the envelope would force the tests to be suspended and the decision to be made to replace it with a new one. The construction of the new, more waterproof envelope, which had to be undertaken at the proposal of Kindelorn under the orders of Mr. Leonardo, recommended increasing the volume of the new Torres Quevedo No. 2 airship to 980 meters 3. Finally, between July 8 and 11, 1908, the successful tests with the airship would take place, in which D. Leonardo, Kindelorn, Pedro Vives and several officers of the military aerostation service would travel. However, when the Royal Order of the Ministry of Development was published naming the airship with the name of its inventor, Alfredo Kindelorn presented his resignation as auxiliary, so the center would be forced to leave Guadalajara. Once it was impossible to continue the tests in Madrid, Torres Quevedo would turn his gaze to the place where he had begun to solve the problem of air navigation, Paris.